Hey everyone, welcome back to Who Is, where we explore the lives of extraordinary billionaires. Today's spotlight is on Michael Byungju Kim, the co-founder and partner of MBK Partners, a name synonymous with success and innovation. From his early beginnings to becoming Korea's richest person, let's dive into the captivating story of Michael Byungju Kim. Segment 1. Early Life and Academic Pursuits Born in Jinhae, South Gyeongsang Province in 1963, Michael Byungju Kim's journey started in a small town with big dreams. After graduating from Haverford College with a degree in English in 1985, he pursued higher education at the Harvard Business School, earning an MBA in 1990 and receiving a prestigious Fulbright Scholarship. Michael's early life and academic pursuits laid the foundation for what would become a remarkable career, marked by his insatiable curiosity and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Segment 2. Career Beginnings Michael began his professional journey in the dynamic world of finance, starting as a mergers and acquisitions banker at Goldman Sachs after his Harvard graduation. His talents quickly earned him recognition, leading him to Salomon Smith Barney in 1995, where he became managing director and COO of Asia Pacific Investment Banking. But Michael's ambitions didn't stop there. In 2005, he took a bold step, leaving a prominent position at Carlyle Group to co-found MBK Partners, a private equity firm headquartered in Seoul. Segment 3. MBK Partners Growth Under Michael's leadership, MBK Partners became a force to be reckoned with, with assets surpassing $23.4 billion. The firm's recent achievement of raising $6.5 billion for Fund Vive solidified its position as the largest independent private equity fund in Asia. Michael's knack for breaking records in the South Korean market became evident through the groundbreaking takeovers of ING Korea and Tesco subsidiary HomePlus. His strategic moves weren't confined to Korea. In Japan, MBK Partners acquired Godiva Japan, creating waves in the consumer sector, while in China, the acquisition of eHiCar services marked a significant move in the car rental and services industry. Segment 4. Records and Accolades Michael's impact extends beyond business. He has served on the boards of prestigious institutions like Harvard Business School, Haverford College, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. His notable accolades include being named the Private Equity Professional of the Year by the Asian Venture Capital Journal in 2013 and earning a spot on Bloomberg's 50 Most Influential list in 2015. In 2021, Forbes ranked him number five on the richest private equity billionaires. And in 2023, he claimed the top spot on Korea's 50 richest with a staggering net worth of $9.7 billion. Segment 5. Philanthropy and Personal Life Beyond business, Michael Byungju Kim is a philanthropist with a heart for giving back. From pledging millions for the construction of a dormitory at Haverford College to endowing funds for Asian business leadership at Harvard Business School, he has left an indelible mark. In 2021, his pledge of KRW $30 billion, $27 million, for a public library in Seoul, named the Seoul Public Kim Byungju Library, showcased his commitment to civic development. His philanthropic efforts were recognized in Forbes Asia's Heroes of Philanthropy list in 2021 and 2022. Segment 6. Recent Ventures and Future Legacy Recent ventures include the sale of a 13% stake in MBK Partners to Dial Capital Partners in a billion-dollar transaction. In January 2022, this strategic move valued the firm at approximately $1 billion. As we look to the future, Michael continues to make headlines. His best-selling novel, Offerings, an interest in purchasing the Washington Nationals baseball team add layers to the diverse tapestry of his achievements. And there you have it, the extraordinary journey of Michael Byungju Kim. From a small town in South Korea to the heights of global business, his story is one of determination, innovation, and giving back. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more stories of success and inspiration. Until next time on Who Is, keep dreaming a billionaire, and I'll catch you in the next video.